Hi everyone, welcome to Zainer's uh, demo of Telangana closing ranks uh, for the government quota of Telangana. Telangana government quota had a lot of issues with respect to eligibility last year. Now we will be taking you through how to look at the closing ranks of 2024 and 2023. 2023 you can ignore because there was a completely different set of rules. Uh, AP candidates were also eligible because of uh, the 10 year delimitation was not over. So primarily look at 2024. The seats might change every year but it will give you an idea of what was possible last year. We will also look at the quota wise eligibility and the reservation categories available. The basic rules of counselling we will take you through as a separate session exclusively for subscribers. It will be available as we move forward before the counselling process. But the reservation categories we will uh, take you through now. The rounds that were available we will also take you through now and we will tell you how to look at information. Primarily look at quota wise eligibility. How do we look at information designer? Go to insights, go to look at closing ranks. Take your time over here because uh, one, two days it will take for you to look at all India and government quota, all the government quotas, all the state quotas, but it will be worth it. Go to Telangana government quota and then filter out. First thing is select the interested speciality. You can also leave it blank if you are interested in all specialities or clinical you can select over here and then select 2024 for round 1, 2, 3. There is a 3.5 here which I will explain later but round 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 is the last upgradable round usually and we are selecting only 2024 over here because 2023 it was along with Andhra Pradesh, uh, local, non-local, the rules were different. And now I am supposed to select on the quota. There are only 4 quotas available over here. Which one should I select is the question, right? So that is what we are coming to. Now right now it is very simple as far as Telangana's allotments are concerned. Telangana government quota had non-service local. Has non-service local and service uh, non uh, and service local. These are the two categories that are available in 2024. How, who is eligible? All local non-service candidates are eligible. Who is a local candidate? MBBS from Telangana. Anybody who has done their MBBS from Telangana was a local candidate last year. Very clear. Initially, MBBS from Telangana plus 6 to 12th in Telangana was required. But later, as the candidates who have done MBBS from Telangana but studied outside, other state candidates who came in through All India Quota, etc., they filed a case saying that domicile requirement is not right, as in basically like the Supreme Court has defined now. And they finally, the Supreme Court directed to go uh, to Telangana to take it up, uh, take also MBBS candidates who have done their a schooling from other states as eligible candidates for the local seats. So basically currently Telangana government quota non-service local is anybody who has done their MBBS from Telangana. Siddhartha being a statewide institute, if you have done your MBBS from Siddhartha, obviously you will know that you will belong to non-local status of Telangana if your 6th and 12th from 6th to 12th is from Telangana. You would have appeared as local at that point in time for MBBS. Then you are eligible for Telangana government quota local seats. Between service local and non-service local, straight away, non-service local candidates are eligible for non-service local seats. Service local candidates are eligible for service local seats. So, if you belong to, if you are Telangana MBBS, straight away, you can look at the eligibility. 20% of clinical specialties and 30% of pre and para clinical specialties are reserved for in-service candidates. What are the other ones? Unreserved seats are available over here. These two unreserved seats were only in 2023. No unreserved seats or non-local seats are there in Telangana like in Andhra Pradesh now. So all seats from 2024 are belong to only these two categories depending upon whether you are service or non-service you just select straight away and you can go ahead. Category, how do I define my category? All candidates are eligible for open seats. BCA candidates are eligible for BCA seats. This is an earlier version. This might be a, an earlier version. You will have to check on the latest versions if there are any amendments on this. BCB candidates are eligible for BCB seats. And uh, BCC candidates who are uh, eligible for BCC seats, uh, scheduled caste converted to Christianity and certain other classes. Uh, classes. BCD candidates for BCD seats and the Muslim community candidates are eligible for uh, BCE seats. So this is based on the eligibility. SCST candidates are also eligible. So depending upon your eligibility, you will select something. If I am BCA, I am eligible for BCA and also open. I will select both. SC category alone now is split into group, going to be split into group 1, group 2, group 3 after the new uh, categorization of SC category candidates. What will I select under this? Now let us say I am going to select my category. I belong to BCA. Uh, I belong to let us say BCA category. I will select BCA first and I know that if I am a, a male candidate, I am only eligible for BCA gen seats. If I am a female candidate and I select BCA and I know that I am eligible for BCA gen and BCA female, both. Next. 
I am also eligible for open seats. Everybody is eligible. So I am also eligible for open gen. If I am a female, I will also select open female. Correct? And what if I am a PWD candidate? I will select PHO. Then I will select all the PWD options also available under BCA or open. Correct? So those options you will have to filter out and send view results. Note that especially for PHO or PWD candidates, the number of seats available will be very less and therefore uh, it might uh, change every year and uh, it is you will only just get a minor reference but not a major reference once you do that you ensure that you select all india rank because all india rank is only available now state ranks might be available at a later point in time you can filter out on state ranks later now uh, uh, we'll take another example to take you through this if i am a bca pwd candidate i'll select bca i am not a female candidate therefore gen and pho if i am a bca male female candidate i'll select bca female pho i'll also be eligible for bca gen pho and all of them will be available for open seats. The three Muslim minority institutes, Shadan, uh, Deccan and Dr. VRK, for them, minority general Muslim is what you will filter out on. So if you are selecting minority general Muslim here, you will see only those seats which are available. Under these three institutes, under minority category. Uh, one uh, major thing is that, uh, note that minority general Muslim candidates, uh, seats are available only for Local candidates of Telangana, basically those who have done MBBS from Telangana only, who will be able to get a Muslim minority reservation over here. And uh, when you are selecting this, also remember that uh, you will, uh, re Dr. VRK call Women's Medical College is a Women's Medical College for MBBS, but it also provides uh, seats for uh, men as well in post-graduation. The basic rules of counselling we have over here, uh, what we have listed down. Uh, round 1, uh, this we will do it as a separate session. Round 1, round 2, round 3 a straightforward first three rounds. A candidate can move from round 1 to round 2 and round 2 to round 3. But Telangana has different free exit rules. So please look at it. Once you exit, you might not be able to get back into the counselling. Please look at that or you don't join a seat. Round 3.5 is a special round that was conducted for vacant seats of round 3 plus newly added seats. They had to do it because when seats are newly added, you can't say that I will not allow upgradation. They had to do it. Stray round is round 4 and special stray round is round 5 and final special stray round is round 6. Here you will see uh, that there will be a lot of uh, very few seats. You can't take a reference over here saying that the same seats will come up again. In 2024, fresh applications were allowed in round 3. Usually they don't allow. But fresh applications were allowed in round 3 due to revised cutoff and new state ranks were published. So if you're looking at, let us say, 300 state rank taking up a seat in round 1, 300 again in round 2, it means it is the same candidate. But then it might be 305 in round 3, it might be the same candidate, but the ranks might have moved up because new candidates were allotted. Some candidates came in in between. Uh, that doesn't matter because all your references only around 300. Around 300, I will get the seat is what you want to refer. So that is as far as Telangana is concerned. Always filter till round 3 unless you want to risk out on the stray round. That can always be decided later. Note that in Telangana, once you are allotted, if you don't join the seat, you will not be eligible for the counselling later. So right from round 1 itself, you will need to be clear. Uh, once you are allotted, stray round, eligibility is uh, not there if you don't join. Okay, if you join, then anyways only till round 3 upgradation. So that you be very clear. Who will be participating in stray round? Somebody who has not been allotted at all. Using, use AA rank till state ranks are published. Use state ranks after state ranks are published and 3.5 was conducted which we already explained. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any queries, you can always get back.